What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about PlayStation VR. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it took me kind of a while to really get the hang of it and play it on a fairly consistent basis. I've been making less videos, so I've been playing more video games. It's kind of funny how that works out. PlayStation VR is awesome. I've never played with Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, so I'm not elitist enough to say that PS4's VR offering sucks. I think PlayStation VR is incredible. I love it. I think games uh, like Super Hot and Resident Evil are incredible experiences, and I'm really looking forward to more fleshed out and robust experiences. And so I came across some news of kind of a new direction, apparently, that developers are going with PlayStation VR, and I want to talk to you guys about it a little bit and give you my thoughts on it. Of course, there will be a link in the description box of the video. Chernobyl VR Project announced for PlayStation VR. So I'm not sure if you guys know or are aware of Chernobyl, which is um, Chernobyl, just a quick synopsis, is um, referred to as a Cherno the Chernobyl accident. It was a catastrophic nuclear accident. It occurred on April 26, 1986, uh, in the number four light water graphite moderated reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near Pripyat in what was then part of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic or the Soviet Union. So it was, it was a nuclear power plant and uh, it was surrounded by lots of incredible places, places that have been evacuated and look like human beings haven't been there for many, many years because when a nuclear reactor leaks, everything in that area becomes toxic due to radiation. Life really can't exist there. So they're going to make a PlayStation VR game based on this and it sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. There have been a number of VR experiences on PlayStation VR and to be honest, most of them haven't been that great. But the latest, the Chernobyl VR project, sounds like it could be really interesting. As the name suggests, it is an interactive journey to the titular nuclear power plant and the abandoned city of Pripyat. Quote, We scanned and filmed a large number of areas in Chernobyl, covering the most well-known locales such as the plant itself, the Dugar Radar, the Museum Park, and Azure Swimming Pool, explains David Bijun from the developers at Farm 51. But we also made sure to document the lesser known places, primary school number three, the hospital, apartments, and the scrapyard in which hundreds of vehicles used in rescue missions now rest. The experience is made of 360 degree movies, panoramas, 3D scan locations, and buildings, 360 photography, and stereoscopic videos, and aims to convey the feeling of being in the dead city. So there is no real release date for this thing yet. Uh, when it releases on PSVR, that will mark the end of early access and the release update for Steam and Oculus versions of the, of the game as well. So it's coming to Steam, it's coming to Oculus Rift, it's coming to HTC Vive, and it's coming to PlayStation VR. Now, is this a game? I don't know if it's a game. My initial thoughts were that they would probably uh, put some kind of radiated, mutated beings here. But to me, just to be able to see Chernobyl, uh, to actually be there and experience it is going to be creepy as hell in itself. This has been one of the things that really has interested me for many, many years. I've always looked at pictures of these villages and this this uh, carnival area, this amusement park, this playground, and it just creeps me the hell out because it you know it looks like people just jumped up, ran out of town, and never returned. And so I'm interested to see what they do with things like this. I also wish that we were able to get things like uh, Google Earth. On PSVR, which is, from what I understand, incredibly intuitive and incredible uh, on Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. I think VR is great, but I think that there's so many applications for it that haven't been utilized for PlayStation VR. And it sounds like Chernobyl, the Chernobyl experience, could be something new and a way to bring something different to the PlayStation VR users like myself. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have PlayStation VR? Would you like to see Chernobyl? And do you think that this would be something pretty cool to experience in VR. I mean, to me, going to places like this or going to places like the Titanic and being able to walk around and seeing it, you know, the way it was or the way it is, is just terrifying because you realize this is the landmark. This is the place where a huge catastrophe happened and, and many, many lives were affected. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different than what I normally do, but like I said, I've been playing a lot of VR. So for me, playing VR recently has kind of opened my mind up to all kinds of new VR experiences. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this story. If you like to show support, do it in my Patreon page. There's a link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.